Hey guys, welcome back to Glenna's World of Coloring. I am here today coloring out of Johanna Bassford's World of Flowers. Let's see. I had a page picked out. Let me see if I can remember which one it was. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> well. I knew which one I was doing. Apparently I don't now. Hmm. No. I think it was after this. And I cut the pages unevenly when I was putting the book together. Ah, this one. All right. This one right here. Zoom her in a little bit. All right. And I'm going to use my A&Art gel pens. Some of my favorite gel pens. All righty. I think I want to make these little tiny flowers here like a light blue. I think that would look really cool or really pretty. All right. Oh, that's not, it's not a light blue, okay. <laughs> Let's try this one. Yeah, that's better, that is better, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's gonna be, um, okay, anyway. Yeah, that looks fine. All right. But how is everyone? Hopefully good. I'm going to have to turn this little fan toward me here in a minute. It is hot. It's like 90 degrees today. All right, that's better. I got like a little tiny desk fan, and it works so good. All right, I've got something interesting to talk about that happened not long ago. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and start the story. <laughs> so, Saturday night, well, Saturday in general, let's say just Saturday in general. And excuse my voice, it's about gone. It is about gone. <clears throat> so, just bear with me. But Saturday uh, was when my boyfriend um, was getting back into Kentucky from being in South Carolina for work. Huh. Work. <laughs> Had to do that. Um, well, I texted him. I said, hey, let me know when you get home safe. And it's only like, hmm, it's not very far from Kentucky. I think it takes like eight hours max <clears throat> while you're driving to get to Kentucky from there. So, well, he left, or he was supposed to leave at 9. And I assume that he did. And I had texted around like 12. Or something. No, I think I texted around that time. And I just said, be safe, coming home. Um, and I waited for him to let me know when he was home, and I didn't hear from him all day, and finally he called me around 
is around like 10 30 that night I was like mm, I know dang well it don't take that long to get back unless he stopped a bunch of times it shouldn't have took almost 10 or 12 hours to get from here or from there to here it just doesn't take that long unless you stop and do things like get something to eat or anything like that okay well he called I was on, I was um, at the dollar store because my brother was about to get off work I was going to pick him up me and dad well um, he called just before or right when my brother come out of the store and they were closing the doors I said that I would call him back okay I did I got home um, me my dad and my brother got home we live literally three minutes from where me and my brother work I work at the same place he does um, we get home I go in my room I call him back okay and I say did you get home okay Did you get home safe and then he says why would you ask me that I don't need you to ask me that I'm like okay you must be in a not great mood today I said, well, I just wanted to check on you. He's like, well, I don't need anyone to check on me. And I'm like, well, okay then. That's not nice. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Let's move on. I'll continue my story after I get to another flower. Um, let's do these little flowers. Let's do them like a pink, like a light pink. I think that'd look nice. But yeah, um, he's like, I don't need you to check on me. You know, I don't, I don't need anybody to, um, what exactly did he say? He's like, I don't need anybody to make sure I'm okay. I'm like, well, this one, this one ain't gonna work, apparently. Uh, I think it's almost out. It's probably about dry. But, yeah, and then I'm just like, well, I don't want to be on the phone if he's just gonna be hateful. And then, because my dad had uh, almost finished dinner uh, right before we lit. Yeah, this one's not going to cooperate. But dad had finished dinner about the time that we had left to go pick my brother up. So dinner was ready <clears throat> when we got back. So I was like, well, I'm going to get off the phone. Dad's got dinner ready. And he's like, what? And I was like, dinner's ready. I, I've got to go. Or wait, that was after. He wanted to know uh, if I wanted... Well, I asked him how long he was going to be staying in Kentucky for. And then he said, well... I'll be here until tomorrow at 12. I'm going to leave at 12. So like noon. I'm like, okay. And then he says, well, why, why, why do you want to know? And I'm like, well, I'm just curious. And he's like, well, why, you got to tell, you got to say why you're curious or you can't say you're curious about it. And then he was asking me uh, uh, 
Well, he was saying, well, if you would get up at a reasonable hour, um, we could go out. And I'm like, well, what's reasonable? And he said, eight or nine. I'm like, eight or nine? That ain't reasonable for me. I usually wake up of a morning, uh, not in the morning. I wake up at 12 o'clock most of the time. 10 or, tw or 12 o'clock. No, I don't. I usually wake up around 10.30 or 11.30 of a day. I'm a heavy sleeper. I don't, you know. I wish that that hadn't run out. That doesn't look great. It's fine, though. Let's see. These little tiny flowers. Let's make them like orange. We're a pretty orange. But yeah. But yeah, he was just like, get up in a reasonable hour and I would take you somewhere. And I was like, well, I can't. I can't tomorrow. I had to go to my grandma's house yesterday, so I couldn't go. And he was just like, well, whatever. Might as well move up there and not come back and say, screw this. And I was like, well, do what you need to do. And then, then I told him that I had to get off the phone because dinner was ready and I was going to eat because I hadn't eaten since uh, he had cooked that morning and he's like what and I was like dad's got dinner ready I'm I gotta go eat and he's like well I'm getting off here and I was like okay he didn't say bye he didn't say anything else he just hung up and I was like well I'm not going to deal with, with that attitude. Uh-uh. So, I ate dinner. And I was like, well, you know what? If he doesn't care, if he wants to move up there, let him. But I ain't going to deal with it. Oh, there's more of those. But that after I ate, I was like, yep, it's time. So I sent a big long message and I broke up with him. And the audacity. All that he said was okay. The audacity of that man. Like, I could just tell from that that he didn't care. Just from that. I was like, yeah, he didn't care. He never has cared. And then yesterday, hmm, yesterday was the kicker. Um, me, dad, and my brother got in the car, in my car. Um, it, I just got this car Friday and I was wanting to drive it some. I've been driving it a lot since I got it. Um, and I'm going to be driving it next week to work. Or this week to work. So, that's exciting. But, yeah. Um, we got in the car. I drove us up to the store. Um, me and my brother got out. I was going to get um, one of the managers to come and look at it because, you know, I don't, I hadn't really told her about it and I wanted her to see it, which she was happy to come out and look at it. Um, but yeah, I was getting out of the car, me and my brother, and I was the first one to walk through the door. And I see him. I see my now ex-boyfriend 
at the register at three o'clock in the evening. Three o'clock when he was supposed to be gone by 12. <clears throat> so, either I caught him in a lie and he's a pile of crap, or, well, there's no real, there's no really or to it. Because, <clears throat> I figured out a lot just from that. Just from that day. Uh, we were about, oh, we dropped my brother off and we were about to go home. And dad's like, no, go the, go the other way, follow him. Like he wanted me to follow my ex and see where he was going. Like see where he lived at and everything. <clears throat> All right, let's make these like a, hmm, maybe like a light green, light, light green. But yeah, he wanted me to follow him, so I did. I went that way that he had went, and... Yeah, I saw where he went, and I knew that a lot of the stuff he ever told me was a bunch of lies. He claimed he had three barns on his property. Well, all this was was just a house. There was no barns. There was nothing. It was just a regular old house. No barn, no horses, no nothing. So I knew right there that I had made a good decision because he had lied to me about a lot of stuff. And I always told him, you know, be open and honest with me. That's all that I wanted. Uh, and he was neither. And anytime I would give him like a compliment or something, he wouldn't react to it or anything. He never really gave me compliments. Like, ever. <laughs> he would never say, I love you. Nothing. I would always send hearts in my messages. He used to do the same. And then one day we were on a call and I told him, you know, why don't you send hearts? And he was like, I don't know how. Even though he used to do it in his texts all the time. So, yeah, more than likely he never cared. So, I don't want to date a boy. I want to date a man. And that one right there is not a man. That is a boy. So, ladies, don't settle for anything. If it ain't working and you feel that they're lying... Just get rid of them, you know. Don't, don't worry about it. And don't even, don't speak to them anymore if they're going to lie to you. 
I understand, like, this was my first, my first boyfriend. And I kind of knew that he would lie. But it's just like, I was so attracted to him. Like, I cared a lot about him. So it's like, I really couldn't tell my brain what I was feeling because it was like, this man is perfect and he's such a sweetheart. And No, no. Your heart always knows what's best for you. And if your heart's starting to feel like it's not working, just end it. That's how it has to be sometimes. And yeah, it's rough. It is rough. <laughs> but it's just, you, you have to do it. You can't be miserable forever. <clears throat> Let's see. I think these should be like a purple. Uh, let's get like a mid purple. Oh, but yeah, I'm so glad that I don't have to worry anymore about somebody lying to me. Are you kidding? Come on. Come on. Hold on. There we go. We're having technical difficulties. But yeah, preserve your peace of mind. Don't be with someone if they're going to lie or they're going to cheat. Even if you love them. You're going to have to let it go eventually. Because this one, for me, non-stop cheat or non, not cheating, non-stop lying. And it's like, hmm. It's like, is anything you say true? Anything that ever came out of your mouth, was it true? Like, you can't believe it when they just lie and lie and lie. May get a drink of coffee. <clears throat> but yeah sometimes you just can't trust people and that is what happened to me so but yeah when I walked in the store and saw him in there I didn't stop to look. I didn't stop to catch his eye. I went right behind him. I passed him. And I went down a different aisle so that he couldn't see me. Like, I didn't want him to try to talk his way back. You know. I doubt he would have been able to anyway. But he sure could have tried. And my heart might have fell for it. For the lies. All of it. Because I, at first, you know, we were fine. Everything was good. And then he started talking about, oh, I've got all these barns. I got all these horses. I get these new horses all the time to for people wanting me to teach them. And it's like, well, that's interesting, you know? So it kind of captivates you at first. And then when you start believing some of it, you start to believe all of it. So, don't let your hearts be fooled.
Just when they want to stop. Well, when your heart wants to stop caring about a person, just let it. It usually is trying to look out for you. <clears throat> My heart wanted me to get rid of this guy. So I did. And now I'm very glad that I did. But yeah, trust your heart. If you suspect anything, you know, try to try to figure it out. Whether you got a spy or confront someone about something, you know, just trust yourself. Just trust your mind and your heart. And trust God, too. <clears throat> He'll usually be there for you as well. Yeah, I got a 2003 PT Cruiser in my driveway. It's my car. I paid for it. I'm going to be paying the insurance. Everything. Gas. Uh, maintenance everything for that car is me it's on me And at the same time with the date thing, I said I had to be at my grandmother's house, which I did. I went yesterday to my grandma's house. Like, it's not something to get mad about. Like, honestly. Like, I wanted to go out a few different times, and it was like he didn't care enough to get up and go. But when he wants to go, it's okay for him to get mad about me having to be somewhere at that time. And then saying, oh, I'll just move back up there and say, screw it. Okay, if you're going to be like that, go for it. Bye. <laughs> like, I don't take, I don't take crap from anybody. Anybody. Like, I don't care who they are. I will not be treated like I don't matter again. That's it. Like, I don't care. I don't care. If he has a problem, that's his own fault. Let's do these like a yellow. But yeah, that's how I feel. Just if you got a problem, that's your own fault. <laughs> Like, don't be mean to someone because they've got other things that they have to do. But 
but like, but yeah, that's a lesson. Don't treat people bad because they have other things they need to do. And if I have other people that treat me like that, they're going to get told the same exact thing. If you don't like it, that's your own fault. And you can go right on, live your life without me. Because I don't need people's negativity in my life. Just keep that crap to yourself. <sighs> but I know deep down that it wouldn't work anyway. Because he hated my rabbit so much for no reason. He was always like, yeah, one day I'm going to get rid of her. As in, hurt her. And eat her. And I protected her with my life. He probably wouldn't have been able to get anywhere if he would have tried anything. Um, yeah. People that try to hurt me or my family, they don't, they're not going to be around too much longer if they're going to try that. I can't really say what I would do because I would get a strike probably or my video would be taken down because of violence <laughs> so yeah I can't say what I would do but I'd protect them at all cost I'd probably end up in jail I'll tell you that like I'm not gonna let anybody hurt the people I care about They can sure try. That's all I'm going to say. They can try. But yeah, I think I was talking about having boyfriend trouble in my last video. So it's kind of something that I'm talking about breaking up in this video. I think these will be like a, those will be red. These will probably be, hmm. I was kind of thinking like a dark pink. Sure, why not? That's fine. Well, I thought it was fine. Okay. It just doesn't want to cooperate. I got a couple things off of Amazon uh, yesterday. Got a new wallet. It's got like an embroidered rabbit on it. And I got a little rabbit keychain. 
and then I got a new purse, which I, I've been wanting to get a new one because I don't want to carry around my $80 bag all the time. <clears throat> I'm always worried that somebody's going to end up stealing it. So, I was like, well, let's just get a new one. I'm um, quiet. <laughs> Let's see. Whew. It is just so warm in here. I don't know how long that this video will go for. Um, probably not too much longer. Just because I don't record as much when it's cold cold. It's not cold. I don't record as much when it's hot. Just because I can't stand heat. Yeah, it's just not fun. <clears throat> yeah, just summertime is my arch nemesis. May and wintertime are like besties. It's just because I can snuggle up in a blanket and watch Christmas movies. Yes. That's what I love to do. Is just watch Christmas movies, listen to Christmas music. Being cold doesn't bother me as much as being hot. When you're hot, you can't do anything about it really and then when you're cold you can cover up can't cover up in the heat because you'll die of a heat stroke or something it would not be fun Not fun whatsoever. Okay. I'm glad that a lot of, the, so many of you actually watched my last video from me coming back to YouTube. I just want to say thank you. And we're a little over 400 subscribers. I want to say thank you for that too. I would have never imagined being at that number. But we've made it. Let's hope we can get to 500. That would be incredible. That would be amazing. 
Let's use red for those. But for now, the career that I want to have is to be a tattooer. Because it's a lot of drawing and it's just, it's awesome. It's like you're putting art on people's bodies. I've got three myself, about to have four. Getting my next one next weekend. On the 17th. And here comes the getting tired for no reason. I'll finish this flower. And then I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Because there is another video that I need to make for a different channel. So I want to make sure I do that. Make sure I get time to do that. <laughs> it's almost been an hour now. We've got pretty far in. Well, not too far, but doing pretty good. Let's see. Hopefully, I'll be able to drive through Berea for long. And then when I learn Berea, I'll learn, or I'll have to learn Richmond because the tattoo shop is in Richmond. There's a bump on my arm that's itchy. I hate bug bites. Like mosquito bites, that stuff is not fun. Come on, Red. Start working. Trying to get this stupid pen to work. Ah, so annoying. I'm about to just break it. I'm gonna break this pen. I think I already did. Pretty sure I broke it. Mm. 
I'm pretty sure I broke it. Alright. Sorry about that. That noise. Alright. It's starting to work a little bit better. Thank God. I think it's alright. I almost broke this pen. Alrighty. I didn't bleed through, which is good. Alright. So, I'm going to end the video here. Just because I don't have a whole lot of time. But, I just thought I'd make a quick video. Well, it's not really quick. But, I just thought I'd make a video. Um... Kind of right quick before I had to do other things and I wouldn't get time after that so I wanted to make sure you guys got a video this week unlike last week but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like comment subscribe hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos that's always fun <laughs> and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video see you guys